It was a wild night for officers in downtown Albuquerque. Police say within just a short time, a man was shot at a nightclub, causing a police chase. And while investigating that shooting, a drunk driver nearly ran over officers. As Action 7 News reporter Sandra Ramirez explains, this was not the first close call for one of those officers. Early Saturday morning, Bernalillo County deputies responded to a shooting on 4th and Central. They found a man in critical condition. Around the same time, Albuquerque police were watching as just a block away, an SUV ran over barricades and sped through red lights. After a short chase, they say the driver threw a gun out the window as they tried to pull him over. APD officers arrested a known gang member, Michael Ponce, charging him in that shooting. While officers were investigating the shooting, police say a drunk driver drove through the crime scene without stopping. We had a lieutenant and a couple of other officers come within, I'm talking centimeters of getting hit by a drunk driver. The driver then sped away, rolling his car, trying to escape police, then still tried to get out and run. Officers caught up with him and took him to the hospital, where he is now in critical condition. Meanwhile, the officers who were nearly hit were shaken up, including APD Lieutenant Ferris Simmons. She's been in a lot of different things before and attacked before by um, a, a guy that almost killed her. This is what he's referring to. Last year, police say a man attacked Ferris when she went to check out a domestic violence call. She suffered serious injuries to her shoulder and has had multiple surgeries, but the officer has made it clear she understands the dangers associated with her job. I think the streets aren't safe for officers, but I think that is really and truly why we're here. And she will be back on duty tonight. Police tell me that drunk driver will face serious felony charges. His name is not being released just yet because he has not been officially booked. Back to you.